Well, hello, everybody. Um, it's nice to be here. I, uh, I'm originally from the Midwest. I've lived here in Los Angeles for a few years now. I love LA, but it's a weird city. It's weird, isn't it? Because Angelina Jolie tried to adopt me this morning. It's weird. It's weird, right? It's weird. It is weird. I do love it here, though. But I, uh, my name is Amy Anderson. People always want to know why I have a Anderson as my last name, because I'm Asian. And uh, the story of that is I actually was born in Korea. Uh, South Korea, good happy free Korea down here. <laughs> not, the, not the we're crazy, we're going to kill you Korea up here. <laughs> not, not that Korea. I was born in South Korea, and then I was adopted by white Swedish people in Minnesota. So anybody else here in therapy, or just, just me? Just, so. It's cool. It's interesting being adopted, though. It is very interesting being adopted. People ask you weird questions. Like, people always want to know when they find out I was born in Korea, they're always like, oh, cool, Amy, do you still speak Korean? Do you still speak Korean? I have to explain to people all the time. I came to the United States when I was five months old. I was a baby when I came here, you know? So I don't speak Korean. Uh, but I do speak baby. So that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. So, and uh, once this lady came up to me after the show, she's like, Amy, were you really adopted? That's so special. I want to know all about it. Tell me about your family. So I told her about my two white parents and my three white brothers, and then she goes to me, tell me something, Amy. Did you always know that you were adopted? <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that one out at some point. I was like, no, it's a family thing. And I just thought I had like crazy eyes and a great tan my whole life. Woohoo! <laughs> what kind of question is that? It's weird. It's weird being adopted. But uh, I do love living here in California. The interesting thing about living in California, there are a lot of wealthy people here. Um, I met and I'm now dating a millionaire, I'm dating a multimillionaire. People get very excited when you tell them that. It's, it's kind of weird, because strangers get excited for you. They get very excited, like, oh, you hit the jackpot, girl, you know? When my friends found out, they got excited, and my mom is excited. Visa is excited. Yeah, they just sent me a pre-approval letter yesterday saying, congratulations, Miss Anderson, we think he's the one. We're raising your limits. <laughs> but uh, now that I, we're in a very serious relationship, actually, now that I'm in this serious relationship, I'm getting a little older, everybody wants me to have a baby. Everybody, I'm at that age where my friends are all having babies, and they all want me to have a baby. They're like, oh, Amy, when are you guys having a baby? You've got to have a baby. What are you? And they all say the same thing. They go, oh, it's such a joy having a baby. It's such a joy. And you guys, you know what? I don't really believe it's such a joy. I just can't believe it. Because here's the thing. You know what? Something that grows inside of you for nine months, and then it comes ripping out of your favorite orifice, <laughs> then it eats off your body. I don't think that's a joy. I think that's a parasite, isn't it? It's like, it's like the textbook definition of a parasite. <laughs> And if you're gonna go for a parasite, why not try something that'll help you lose weight or something, you know, like a tapeworm or like... <laughs> Tapeworm's not gonna come back to you 25 years later either and be like, oh, could you give me $200 to pay my car insurance? Cause whatever. I don't know, this comedy thing's really not working out for me, whatever. <laughs> Tapeworm can't drive, not gonna happen. So, but that's cool. I like being Asian. There aren't a whole lot of Asian people here tonight, so we'll just have a moment of Asian education. There's a couple. All right, rock on, yellow brother. All right. He's like, I'm over here with the one guy. I'm right here. There's, there's more. We're taking over, you guys. Here's the thing. You know what? There are, the majority of us here are not Asian. Let's just put it that way. So we'll have a moment of Asian education. Did you know that like Asians, we actually lack an enzyme in our biological makeup that absorbs alcohol? Yeah, a lot of people don't know that about Asians. Even a lot of Asians don't know that. What happens is we don't absorb and process alcohol the same way that everyone else does, and we get drunk really easily. So my point is, take us out. We're cheap dates, yes? Like, 
because you... Why do you think there's so many of us? Like we are... We are drunk. We make up like half of the world population right now. It's not a coincidence, all right? Like, that's why if you're ever over at Kim Jong-il's house, he's like, oh, I had half a Zima, I'm crazy, whoa. Like, that's why, now you know. Explains a lot of erratic behavior. And here's another thing, you guys. Asian people, we can't tell the difference between other Asians. Stop asking us, right? Because like, people are always like, Amy, is that guy over there, is he Japanese or Korean? Or can you, t you can tell, right? It's like, no, it looks all the same to us too, right? Like, you're not born with some secret decoder ring. It's not like that. <laughs> Chinese people always think I'm Chinese, and I'm not, I'm Korean. I was in a Chinese takeout place, and the man behind the counter's like, hey, you, tell me where you from, where? Tell me, you tell me now. You tell, tell me where you're from. <laughs> I want to know, you tell me where you're from, where? Yes, you, you tell me. I'm like, okay, dude, geez, you know. So I was just about to tell him that I was Korean. He goes, you Korean, aren't you? Yeah, because I can tell. I'm like, you can tell? And then he asked me if I knew this other Korean person. <laughs> yeah. It's like, do you know Jing Hee Cha? I'm like, no, dude, we don't all know each other. You should know that you're Chinese. Stop messing it up for everybody. <laughs> And you guys, I can't wear black pants and a white shirt into a Chinese restaurant or people try to order from me. Yeah. Get up to use the bathroom. There's always some ladies like, excuse me, but we never got our egg rolls, miss. And you're like, um, do I look Chinese to you, lady? Like, and then I realize, yes, I do. I'm sorry. Let me, sorry. Let me just go get those egg rolls for you. And I just, do, 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 do. I just, Go and get the egg rolls. It's just easier that way, you know what I mean? So, but yeah. Weird stereotypes about Asians. And I'm not trying to stereotype Southerners, but every time I go to the South, I have a weird racial incident. Weird. I was in a pet store down South, killing time at a shopping mall. And there are all these little cute puppies behind glass in those cages, right? And a little lady comes in, little white lady and her little like six-year-old granddaughter, and they're looking at the puppies. Look at those puppies, honey, ain't they cute? They're cute, Grandma, I like the puppies. That's a brown puppy, that is a brown puppy. I like it. And then we get to the next puppy. Look at that puppy, honey, he's cute. Yeah, that's a furry puppy, Grandma, I like that puppy. Then we get down to the third puppy. She goes, look at that puppy. It's a wiener dog, a dachshund. That's a funny looking puppy, isn't it, honey? And she happened to look up at me and she went, that looks like a Chinese puppy. <laughs> so, so I punched the little girl in the face. I just punch, punched her in the face. <laughs> blam, blam, bammo. <laughs> Kids gotta learn somehow, you know? <laughs> if I gotta be the one, I'll do it. A lot of negative stereotypes about Asians, you guys. Don't believe them. It's really, it's tired. It's old, you know? You guys, I've never eaten a dog. I don't own a liquor store. I've never given a manicure. I'm an excellent driver. I don't have the bird flu, <laughs> you know? You guys, I failed math in high school, okay? So just don't believe the stereotypes. They really, they are not true. Although, I will admit, I do have a tiny penis. <laughs> that one is true. That's... That one is true. Okay, for those of you with a really confused look on your face right now, I don't really have a penis. That was a joke. You can relax. It's all vag. It's all... It is sideways, but it's all vag, people. All right, so... All right, you guys, that's it for me. Thanks, I'm Amy Anderson. <laughs>